the public officials aren't going to sound the alarm, I will. Are people safe 10 miles inland? I mean, are people... The thing is, once you can smell the crude oil in the air, and I've definitely been in communities where you can kind of feel it in the back of your throat. I mean, you can, you can taste it in the back of your throat. Um, if it's that strong, you are already have exceeded the, the health uh, standards, okay? The, by the time you smell it, it's too late. You know, the air blows differently down here, so some days it's strong, some days it's not. Some days it blows very strong and it goes further inland. This is sort of like this invisible amoeba right now, this air quality. And until we can get some independent air quality monitoring, um, I think independently of even the federal government, um, and some not grab samples, but some consistent real-time monitoring, um, I'm not willing to say the air is safe, uh, definitely along the shores. How far inland, I don't know. A hurricane is a whole nother uh, wild card. I learned that Hurricane Katrina took uh, water and oil, you know, water uh, as far inland as 500 miles. So, what kind of values do we have? Hmm. When you find out that the stuff they're spraying makes it four or five times more toxic than the oil itself, do they tell the people? When they found out they've done this in the past and it was bad, but they still do it. Do they tell the people? You're told everything's fine. You know, they told the workers at Ground Zero that the air was fine to breathe. Now more than a thousand of the rescue workers have died from complications from the stuff that was in the air. But they're telling what? See, if they told those workers they had to wear a mask or a breathing apparatus, then people might start asking questions. Then they'd also open up BP to lawsuits. Why do you think they're using dispersants to hide the oil? Otherwise, they'd have to clean it up, wouldn't they? Hmm. But yeah, yeah, everything's great. Everything's fine. Don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain over there. All right, so anyway, here's one. This is where you find out the core exits eating through the hull of the boats. Wow. Let's learn more. Studies have shown on, on silverfish and on shrimp specifically that Corexit is exponentially more dangerous than other dispersants that are av available out there. We are using a product that has low toxicity. An Exxon report some years ago showed that uh, the Corexit is actually four times more toxic than the crude oil itself. Would you say that again? We are using an EPA approved product. BP continues to spray a product called Corexit in the Gulf of Mexico despite demands from federal regulators. We are using an EPA approved product. You just listen to who makes the final decision and in this case BP made the final decision and told the EPA to stuff it. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small seizures. Again we're calling the Coast Guard. They get that BP has control of the Coast Guard. A boat of BP contractors with two Coast Guard officers on board told us to turn around under threat of arrest. They get that BP has control of the Coast Guard. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. We saw this with Exxon Valdez. We had 6,722 cases of upper respiratory illnesses. I'm still dealing with sick people 21 years later. 100% disabled. A lot of them have died. The average lifespan of a person who did clean up on the uh, Exxon Valdez is 51 years old. Almost all those people who did work on the Exxon Valdez are now dead. You just listen to who makes the final decision, and in this case, BP made the final decision and told the EPA to stuff it. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. The feds have demanded that BP switch to another chemical. We are using an EPA approved product. In the last month, the company has used, brace yourself, more than 700,000 gallons of this chemical, which is toxic to human beings. But that is not the case in BP. We care about the small people. I mean, I've been up coughing, coughing up, coughing up stuff. You, you, your lungs fill up. Burris says when he went to the doctor after feeling ill on Sunday, the doctor told him his lungs looked like the victims of a three-pack-a-day smoker. And Burris says he has never smoked. We are using a product that has low toxicity. An Exxon report some years ago showed that uh, the core exit is actually four times more toxic than the crude oil itself. Would you say that again? Uh, we are not seeing huge elevations in... Uh, toxins in the air or in the water. A normal level ranges from 5 to 10 parts per billion. The reading was nearly 40 times that at nearly 1,200 parts per billion. Uh, we are not seeing huge elevations in uh, uh, toxins in the air or in the water. What's important, it's not just to be able to go fishing, but to poison your waters and to know you're doing it. 
and the EPA is not stopping them, are they? No, the EPA, even though they couldn't pass the cap and trade, Obama, or I should say Barry Satoro, is going to direct the EPA to tell you that carbon dioxide is a bad gas. Why don't you tell that to a plant? Tell that to a fourth grade science teacher who teaches about photosynthesis. Yeah, tell me how bad carbon dioxide is. They'll change the global warming CO2 thing, which is just nothing but a global tax. Don't believe me? Take a look at Gore and Blood. Take a look at the Rockefellers over in Europe. Take a look at Al Gore's carbon credit exchange in Chicago. But once again, his British Petroleum, who pushes the greenhouse, uh, the green CO2 garbage, global warming. Yeah, why is it the oil companies are pushing the global warming thing also? Hmm, rather interesting. Because do they get, do the same people that own the banks own the oil companies? Is that the way it is? Do they own the media? Is that why, start the pictures now. I'll just talk. You look at the pictures. Is that why they don't show you these pictures of the Gulf? Is that why they don't show you these pictures? And what happens when the Gulf Stream, okay, which is a normal flow of water, which goes around the Gulf, around Florida, and up the entire East Coast? For you Massachusetts residents like myself, you probably understand that the outer part of the Cape has warmer waters than the inner part of Cape Cod. Why is that? Is that because of the Gulf Stream? What keeps Iceland warmer? You know, it's Iceland, like you think Greenland and Iceland. Why? What is the Gulf Stream? And what happens when you pour millions of gallons of toxins? Now, few people, and I, you know, I want someone who's, you know, doctor scientist to come on here and tell me, hey, by the way, every cell of our body, does it have two layers of cholesterol holding what? The cell together, making the cell membrane walls? Yet you're told cholesterol's bad, but also now we put a dispersant in that breaks down oil into water and stuff. And when it gets to the surface, it phase shifts, so it goes up in the air. Does that explain some of the crop damage and also how core exit is ending up in pools, how it's ending up in rivers and lakes, let alone if they ever have a hurricane? And meanwhile, you're watching the pictures, that's what the Gulf's really like. Yet they didn't show you that every night, did they? They didn't show you because they weren't allowed to. They made it a no-fly zone, you couldn't fly over there. They made it a no-film zone, you couldn't film there. You couldn't go to the beach, you couldn't get within 60 yards of the beach. Why do they need to hide? And who said a corporation like British Petroleum, if you listen to the gentleman who was on what, uh, thank you, Democracy Now! for airing that piece, but if you listen to that gentleman, he says, well, geez, they have ties to the administration. Yeah, of course they do. Who do you think gave them money? Between Goldman Sachs, I mean, why is the guy funded from corporations, yet you were told you had hopium, right? You had hoped there was going to be change. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I'm not laughing at you. It's just the gullibility, because they use the media so well as a tool against you and your free mind and your thinking. Do you think they want what's best for your children? Have you figured this out yet? Will you think for yourself? What's important about this episode? One is not only are they killing the fish and the dolphins and the turtles and all that, but this is the breeding ground. Those marshes, those estuaries are where life starts for a lot of this. More than one-fifth of our food production as far as fishery production comes out of that area. And when you find out that the life expectancy of someone working with Core Exit is 50 years old, 20 years off the life expectancy, bam! And they're pumping it underground and they're flying and spraying it over with aircraft. Once again, what happens to it when it phase shifts? Hmm. Are you going to start caring? It's funny, all these people, these environmentalists, global warming, turned out to be the world's greatest hoax. But you don't hear them crying about this. You don't hear them crying about transgenetic stuff and messing and making frankenfish. No, you don't hear, nah, -uh, that doesn't get on your news, does it? Because corporations make more money. When you think of the corporate what? Corporation, corporate food, the food industry, that's like the music industry. Gosh, I heard someone talk about that and they were right when they said, you know what? Music and stuff is, should be like art not industry, but now what do we have? We have the music industry, that's why you get Lady Gaga. Right? We have the food industry. That's why you get Franken foods. That's why you get GMO foods. Yeah. So once again, where are your values? Why aren't you, the viewer, standing up, at least for your children? You know? Get them to watch the show. Start waking up. These people are doing it to you. They're doing it to your family. So anyway, just so you get to see some, you know, different stuff so you have an idea. Um, hmm. I got homework for you. Why don't you find out about Core Exit 9500? 
That's what they've been spraying. That's what they've been putting in under the water. And you found out that BP was what? With, um, <laughs> they were giving you phony cams of the oil of the oil well or whatever, and then they made a, this is our control center, and that turned out to be photoshopped. And meanwhile, you have the BP guy. We care about the little people. Reminds me a lot of that king in England, you know, the little people. You know, they were little for a reason. They actually restricted their diet. You know, I mean, serfs, serfdom, servitude, service industry. You get the serve part? Why do you think Obama, when he came in, wants, you know, national service? Why do you think Rahm Emanuel is chief of national service? Because they want you to be slaves, folks. And this isn't just Obama. It was the same with Bush. It's the same international bankers behind both of them. And if you think they care about you and your family, well, I hope you enjoy your frankenfish salmon. Mm, hope you like your genetically modified cow, your genetically modified potato, and your genetically modified corn. Until finally you're just a genetically modified person yourself who happens to be sterile. Boy. Is that what their end game is? So homework, anyway. Um, find out if uh, British Petroleum wasn't one of Obama's biggest contributors. Yes, let alone with Goldman Sachs. Yes, hmm, could that be? I don't know. I'll have to do some research. I might even have to follow the money. Yeah. So, on a happy note, you're, you're at least a little more aware you should care about what they're doing to your golf. Okay, here's a little three minute clip just to show you where someone else started recording, gee, there's all these fish dying. And then they watch and you see which way the Gulf Stream goes and you go, wonder how those fish all died up and down the East Coast. This is sort of a follow up to my last video about all the dead fish that have been washing up. Uh, I listed three different states. I showed three different newscasts. Immediately after I posted that, I saw another newscast that said that 33 of my local beaches were closed due to high contents of bacteria in the water. And uh, so I figured I'd make this easy and represent it with one thumbtack. Um, you know, this thumbtack, the, the red ones represent where there's actual dead ocean life. Uh, thousands of dead fish washed up the other day. So I went looking around for other beach closings and I'm, I also represented multiple ones with single thumbtacks. Uh, you know, we got them in New Hampshire, Maine, um, Providence, Rhode Island, Long Island, New York. Um, in Chatham, Cape Cod, they shut the beach down because they've got 14-foot great whites feeding on the, you know, on the coast. Um, when you come down here, Delaware Bay, New Jersey, is where they had tens of thousands of dead fish wash up the other day. Um, then you got 8-4, Hampton, Virginia. 20,000 dead fish from a net spill, allegedly from a, a fishing boat. Of course, then you got one day before that, I'll uh, cut over here. One day before that, you have the same fucking story from Biloxi, Missouri. Tens of thousands of dead fish from net spill. I, I have all the links all listed below for all of these. It, it's ridiculous. It's the, it's the exact same story. It's like they. Alabama, we got residents that are sick from the toxins. We got dead shit floating up the coast. Uh, I'm going to keep compiling these. I'm going to put this file somewhere online. You can email me if you've got more uh, to list. I sort of gave up on the the bacteria beach closings. I just wanted to focus on where the dead ocean life was showing up. But, uh, here's a little animation that I found. Uh, I'm not sure if we give credit to for it. I'll try to leave a link. Uh, yeah, but send me links if you got them. Uh, the media is just obviously bullshitting us about this. Uh, this is it's obvious what's going on. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't go in the water and don't eat the fish. So, I was going to ask you, how is the change working out for the fish? And I want to thank you for watching. Also, you should remember, you know, it's live free or die this week. And, yes, God bless you. God bless this republic. And down with the New World Order. Those who would put core exit in your waters. Thanks for watching.